a lot of people aren't sure exactly what an au pair is. Are they nannies? Are they babysitters? Do they live with you? The official definition is that they're young people from overseas who come over to the United States for a year to live with an American family and take care of their children. Au pairs are actually designated by the U.S. Department of State, so they come over on a J-1 cultural exchange visa that's good for a year. Actually, they can even extend that for another six, nine, or 12 months, so they can live for up to two years in the United States. They all speak English, they speak at least conversational English, and often want to improve their English, have a chance to be in the United States where they're immersed in English, they can improve their career prospects back home by improving their English. They love children, of course, they have childcare experience, and they want to, the opportunity to spend a year living with an American family and uh, taking care of their kids. They want a chance to just see the U.S. and experiencing American culture. A lot of them like to travel while they're here. So those, those are some of the reasons why they're motivated to come, to improve their English, to live with a family, to have a chance to see the United States. The term au pair itself is a French term meaning on par, so like a family member. I've always thought of my au pairs as like an older daughter or, or like a niece. I think my kids think of our au pairs like an older sister. Hi, <laughs> my name is Sathi Makin Singh, but my family and my friends call me May. I'm 25 years old. My current job is an au pair in South Lyon, Michigan. I'm Diane Brito. I'm from Brazil. I decided to be au pair because it was the cheapest way to learn English. Why did I decide to be an au pair? It was because I wanted something challenging, something different that I didn't try before. It's kind of one a change, want something new. So I decided to come here to get new things. When, while I was au pair, I was sponsored by a my agency was cultural care. Yes, I came from I came through the cultural care agency. I'm here by cultural care au pair agency. The process goes. Uh, they charge money. They ask us to fill out a lot of documentations and like do a resume, a resume for for families here in USA to see us and take pictures with kids and take cute pictures from us, like a family moment, and like be the cutest person ever. And so it's like around my application was like 50 pages, almost 50 pages my applications and like a lot of questions and they charge me of course they charge in Brazil I need to pay with the full insurance was one fee, uh, was 1500 dollars that I paid to live in Brazil and the family who is who chose me they are a sponsor they pay 21 21 dollars they charged me almost 1000 to get here it, that was for the fir first year, and second year, I have to pay something like 500 something near to it. Pay me 200 a oh, week. Yeah. Is it enough? Yeah. enough? yeah, because I don't have to pay for anything. I live with them, so that's enough for me. Never money is enough. <laughs> we never receive more than 200. And in theory, too, we can't work extra, extra hours, because we can't. Just Veronica. Okay, hi, I'm Veronica. My full name is Veronica Homolova. I am from Czech Republic. I'm 21 years old. And I'm au pair here in the United States in Michigan. When I came here, before I come to Michigan, I went to New York to a trainment. There I met more two people that came here to Michigan, but we never talked again. And so I have to start to make relation, um, friendship with people here. So I had a group from, the, from Cultural Care, the agency who brought, here, brought me here. 
from them I got some friends and by that friends I could make more friends and I was going to school too so I could make more friends there. We have au pair meeting so every month we will meet and we will like hang out do some fun stuff together that's how I make friends. I take care about two kids, two boys, six years and ten years. One boy, when I got here, he was just, he was two years old. Now he is four years old. I take care of two twin girl, baby girl, and they just three months old. How many kids I am responsible for? I am responsible now for three kids. They have two and a half now. Eight and eleven, three, uh, three girls. Yeah, I have my own parents' room. It's upstairs over there, and I have my weekend off, home weekend off. But some weekend I have to work, but it's okay because on weekday, some week I only work just thirty-five hours. So they can ask me for work on weekend, but just Saturday, not Sunday. I have my own room, own bathroom, so that's good. And I have privacy in my home. So if I feel like that I need to be alone, so I go to my room. And kids, they don't come to my room. I learn kids that if they want to come, so they have to knock the door and wait until I will say, yes, you can come. So that's cool. I can tell yes, but when we live with somebody else, it's not the same if you live by yourself. So I have my room. It was in a basement, it was a large room, a large basement. I could invite my friend and stay there. But because it is not my, my house, I don't feel like I'm gonna do as my house. But I, yes, I had. I love to cook, so they love to eat. <laughs> they try my food, and I try American food. My own family, they are Indian, so when I move here, they are Americans, so it changes a lot. Everything is cheesy, but I try that. I cook for them. They are like I remember, like I spent like two hours cooking because like five five people plus me so I was cooking for six so I spent two hours cooking a Brazilian food they didn't eat and they like was polite and like ah okay okay like then create some history they didn't eat like I tried to cook like feijoada and they was like just oh what is that oh what is that what is that what is that and like they didn't try it and I get so hurted because like they should try if they want someone from another country they should try what we are bringing from them and when I start to cook some my Czech food what do we do like for example baked potatoes and we put the uh, uh, eggs in the potatoes you know and to be like to fixed to get <laughs> so <laughs> Dylan he said hey Veronica I will not eat this because they are potatoes with eggs I hate it I said hey Dylan you have never tried it so you have to try it. it's really good kid he like it you know but they are different tastes so it's really hard to cook for them because they, they don't like the things like what we do what we do <laughs> feel homesick Yes, I felt homesick a bunch of times. When I just got here, it was easy because everything was new. So, different country, different people, different everything. It starts on the way to drive. You can pass on red light. So, it was many of new things to enjoy. So, I didn't feel too much homesick. Everything was new and I was enjoying everything that I was seeing around. So after, I guess, the second year and third year was difficult. Uh, what I did was, I like workout, so I was in the gym 
almost every day. Not that much because I can use computer. There is a webcam and I talk with my family and friends over Skype. I try to talk with them every day so I don't feel homesick. Oh yes, always. Always. It's impossible to feel homesick. Mostly when you live together a family that you know there isn't your family and this person don't care about you. Care if you are able to work, but they don't care about you, so you always feel homesick. I think about friends. I don't have many friends and I scared to talk in English, to speak in English. So when I be with friends, it's just quiet. So when I say some things, they will like laugh at me because of my accent. But I think it's fun. I'm happy to make it happy, <laughs> you know? I didn't have a problem at work. But how I live, I live at the same house where I work at. I think the biggest problem was have a relationship with people around. While I was work was perfect because my my relationship was with a boy, so we had a good relationship. But besides, it was not work. Of course, I I didn't need leave the house or I didn't need be in a room, a specific room. I wasn't anywhere where I like. So my my problem was to keep a relationship with the people that live in the house. Mm, not that much, just like the from the beginning when I came here. So it was the problem with the old kid, with Dylan, to make some nice relationship between us. It it was really hard because he was like mean, you know, and he didn't want to listen that much. And but now it's really nice. For me, the ma the major problem is is that just being around all the time, all the time, so I can't make plans, I need to travel when they want, I need to be with they want. If they change mind, like my family, if they change their mind about something, I need to, I just need to be there, so this is not nice. This is like my major problem since I get here in Michigan with this family, so... Uh, I like to be au pair and I recommend to everybody to be au pair, it's really nice job, but it's really hard to find the good family, it's really hard. Some au pairs they don't have good luck, but I really had good luck. To come here as au pair, you have to really have guts, because it's hard, it's not, it's not something like, okay, it's the cheapest way to learn English, but you are going to confront many things like a different culture, you are going to see uh, different people. When we live in our house with our family, we have problems. Can you guess with a different family that you never saw? And with a different culture. So I believe that is still the cheapest way to, to learn English to travel to another country and be yes, a there, you're gonna learn English and be paying for uh, your works too, but to come here as a bear you have to be really brave because there are many things involved.